Hi, I'm Coleman Weeks, and today I'd like to share with you some of Ray Perry's Journal of a Crazy Woman. This should be interesting. I'm going to read a little of Chapter 1, Keeping a Journal. Chapter 1, December 26th. I received this journal for Christmas from Giselle, my sister, who knows everything. When she gave it to me, it was beautifully wrapped and tied with a large iridescent bow. I love bows. I kept the bow and tore the wrapping paper to shreds. There, setting in a box, was a book titled Journal. The word journal was engraved in gold. I love gold. The book, however, was White. I hate white. Too hard to keep clean. But the gold lettering looked really nice against a pure white book. The journal was wrapped in plastic. Good. <laughs> that way it won't get dirty whenever I want to look at the gold lettering. When I thanked my sister for the handsome book, Giselle, who knows everything, said, I saw you didn't have a journal, so I bought one for a Christmas gift. You need to keep a journal. I believed her. After all, she knows everything. I kept this very journal in a plastic cover in the original box for five years. It was in mint condition. I was doing my part. I was keeping the journal. It wasn't until yesterday that Giselle asked me about the journal. She had given me five years ago. Loray, are you going to be needing another journal soon? Loray said, No, why? Giselle, well, it's been five years since I gave you a journal, and it was only a five year journal. Loray said, What happens after five years? Does it blow up or something? Giselle said, No, silly, it should be getting full by now. Full of what? Of journal keeping, of course. But I have been keeping it. It's still in the plastic wrap and everything. Giselle's face went blank immediately, like a computer screen does when the power suddenly turns off, or like a chalkboard that has been scribbled on and then quickly erased. And I was the eraser. What's wrong? You're supposed to write in the journal. What do I write? About your day, your life. Why would I want to do that? And Giselle answered, for your posterity. My posterity? Why the heck should they care about my day? If they don't get a call telling them that I died, they'll know I woke up to write another day. Giselle's eyebrows squashed together. Her face kind of folded into itself. What does that even mean? Ray answered, I don't know. You're the one who said my posterity wants to know what I'm doing every day. Who cares? Maybe I don't want them to know. Did you ever think of that? Who cares if I answer the phone on the first ring or let it ring and ring? Certainly not my posterity. They should mind their own business anyway. Sometimes I don't want to answer the phone, so there. Giselle's face went blank immediately, like the computer screen does when the power suddenly turns off, or like a chalkboard that's been scribbled on and quickly erased. And I was the eraser. Loray asked, what's wrong? Giselle said, you're supposed to write in the journal. What do I write? About your day, your life. Why would I want to do that? For your posterity. Loray said, my posterity, why the heck should someone care about my day? If they don't get a call telling them I died, they'll know I woke up to write another day. Giselle's eyebrows squished together. 
Her face kind of folds into itself. What does that even mean? The Ray answered, I don't know. You're the one who said my posterity wants to know what I'm doing every day. Who cares? Maybe I don't want them to know. Did you ever think of that? Who cares if I answer the phone on the first ring or let it ring and ring? Certainly not my posterity. They should mind their own business anyway. Sometimes I don't want to answer the phone, so there. Giselle said, you totally misunderstand how one keeps a journal. The Ray replied, Nah, I kept a journal for five years, not one mark on it. That's my point. What's your point? Just write in the journal I gave you, okay? What do I write? About your day. Who cares about my day? I'm getting off this merry-go-round right now. The Ray looked and said, What merry-go-round? No answer, which she thought was really rude. Giselle walked away from her. She thought I wasn't looking whenever she threw her hands up in the air. I can take a hint. I don't need a door to fall on me. She threw her hands up in the air and I gave up gesture. I've seen that gesture many times before, the face thought to herself. The Ray pondered. I guess I'm on my own journal keeping or writing thing. What do I tell a journal? Why would I want to tell a journal anything? Why does my posterity want to know? The little snoops. I guess I'm going to give this journal writing a try. My sister, who knows everything, should have explained the writing part of keeping a journal better. Maybe she doesn't know everything after all. I don't know what I'm going to write, though. I still have so many questions. Do I say hi first or ask it how my day is going? When I'm done writing, do I tell it goodbye? Crud. There's so much more to journal writing than I originally thought. I'd rather just keep a journal if you want to know the truth. Chapter 2 starts out as radio show. I think I'll stop here, because I don't want to ruin the book. But you can see that the ray is unique. It has that quirky way about her that all her friends, including me, really love. So please, when you have the time, why don't you go review the journal of a crazy lady? Thank you. What a maroon.